If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it probably is a duck. Bible or church folks? Church folk. Correct. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Bible or church folks? Church folk. Incorrect. Galatians 5. Get right or get left. Bible or church folks? Bible. Incorrect. Church folk. Love not the world. Bible or church folks? Church folk. I'm sorry. That's Bible. First John chapter 2. As guilty as sin. Church folk. Correct. Correct. That is church folk. All right. Okay, Sister Kathy. All right. That was a good, solid try. At first, it felt like you were going through seemed like you were a little bit blue but then you said i got to be true and you ended up with two amen put your hands together for sister kathy amen amen all right sister kathy praise god praise god all right sister praise kathy god. how you feel about those two points you just got i feel great you feel great. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. You should because you got some questions that I know for sure some people would have stumped on, but you didn't stump on them. You got some of them right. So congratulations. That was a good try. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Bible of church folks. Church folks. Correct. If you are happy, please notify your face. Bible of church folks. Church folks. Correct. Preach the gospel. Bible of church folks. Bible. Correct. Mark 16. And a little child shall lead them. Bible of church folks. Bible. Correct. Isaiah 11. Practice makes perfect. Bible of church folks. Church folks. That is correct. Hurt people hurt people. Church folks. That is correct. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Well, it looks like Sister Kathy... Uh, that Sister Heather was in a, she started off and she seemed like she decided that she was not going to be in a fix. She imagined in her mind that she was going to pick up a stick and take a ball, swing and take a hit. And get six. And get six. There you go, Sister Heather. Put your hands together for our first place winner, Sister Heather. <laughs> Amen. <clears throat> awesome. Ah, <laughs> my story, my story is an amazing story. My story is a story of a distant, far away journey. It is a distant of swift runners, the swiftest runners that there ever were. My story is a story of great treasures, great treasures and queens from far away distant lands. My story is a story of great wonders and amazing things that would be quite amazing to you. But sadly, there was no one to tell my story. No one to tell my story because I had no little ones to tell of. And I found out that there was another one like me who had no one to tell his story. No little ones as it were. And there was one that run like the swiftness of the wind who told me about this one. This one that was amazing. This one that did amazing things, things that were so amazing that when I found out that there was no one to declare his generation like mine because he was cut off and died, that I said that I too want to be buried like he was and I was. But I came out of the burial. It was a baptism, I think it was. And I now am just like he. And the one who ran like the swiftness of the wren disappeared. Imagine that. Oh, I'll never be the same for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. All right, if y'all think you know who I'm talking about, then go ahead and put the answer into the question box, into the chat box down there. Three things that I need you to do for me. The first thing is simply this. Go to church this weekend. If your church doors are open, walk through them. If your church doors are not open, stream it. 
And if you don't have a church to go to, you just heard about two great ones that we just talked about during the show. And if you do not mm, that feeling them, give me a call, y'all. I say it every week. I mean it every week. Thank you. Thank though. I want to thank those who have reached out, those who have given me a call, and those who haven't, give me a call. 336-446-9897. We are connected with churches all around this country and even in other uh, uh, countries. Give me a call. Y'all, we're going to pray about it. We're going to get to the bottom of it. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. All right? That's the first thing. And then the second and the third thing, very simple, y'all. Keep the faith in Jesus and keep having faith.